Uh, this is uh, the name I have to use is Peggy Ann Childers. I wanted to put up here, um, I won't go into that right at the moment. So I put it up on YouTube, Facebook for over some years now about being kidnapped and uh, birth certificates of twins that I was given the name of Peggy Dempsey. I married Childers when I was kidnapped and brought over here from Buckingham Palace, by the way to a pigsty. So uh, when I finally got the birth certificates, because I have to use uh, Peggy's, the dead Peggy and Carl's did too, so uh, the state of Alabama just blatantly marked through the date of birth of so the twins because it didn't fit the dates given me when they brought me over here. Well, there's a year's difference almost. <clears throat> So anyway, if that's not enough, you know, that's illegal to change it. The state of Alabama did it in Montgomery. Anyway, I wanted to get to this. So there's your, uh, I was born in the UK, uh, leader of a country, and this country um, kidnapped me, helped the Illuminati. You know the Illuminati, the people, the press are saying doesn't exist, that your press is in control. Your elections aren't controlled. You know, I got a word for that. <laughs> if the truth's ever told, who's going to lock the press up? Who's going to put a microphone up to them and ask them the questions and make them answer it? And when they can't, get them for lying, because that's what they've done all along. In fact, you can't tell about me and my kidnapping, and you can't tell about mind control murders and all this. And I guess I better be quiet. Nobody likes to hear about Virginia Tech and the long list and celebrities that have been killed using mind control. You can program people, you can uh, use it to cure an illness or create an illness, heart attack, stroke, cancer, you name it. But how would you prove it? Some of these can be proven that I have uh, talked about on YouTube and every, everything. Larry Flynn, I keep mentioning Mr. Flint because everybody knows he was um, shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and uh, uh, his attorney was killed there, and that was March the 6th of 78. I was doing the book, medical malpractice book, MD a License to Kill, and it was, uh, got a letter from the FBI June the 23rd of 79, and then um, I had antifreeze put in me April Fool Day of 80. So this is the story of my life. Every law in the book being broken against me and my children. Not one has ever been hauled their ass into court and made to pay for it or charged. And yeah, you should. I should use the proper language for this. There's no uh, descriptive words that fit. And I watch the smiley faces up here. These people that are giving you, yeah, giving you the news, they don't know what the, they're talking about, or they're just flat out lying to keep their jobs. And I tell you who, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, by the way, Hillary, Dillery, Doc, um, there's no way you get them back, though. They're coming out here, that's the reason I got this tape this morning, I'm going to, um, they're using these uh, descriptive words, and they're very derogatory, all of them. It, they're words that I, I can't, I meant to make a list of them. Maybe somebody here can help me make a list of these words they use. Obama's was unfit, and so did Hillary say that, unfit. What do you mean by unfit? That they're not a part of your uh, New World Order, your Illuminati? Oh, let's just pretend it doesn't exist and call you crazy if you mention it. Conspiracy? Oh, there's no conspiracy. Of course there is. If you ask them the right question in front of the world with a microphone in their face, yeah, you'll find out. Now, the another word was vulgar. Okay, then another one was temperament. Um, he, uh, Obama didn't, I don't know if it was Obama, well, I'm sure he's used it, but, uh, and Hillary, temperament. Okay, what does temperament mean? That you have to be a lying cheat and get before the world and call somebody 
ugly, vile names that don't fit. Uh, temperament, he tells the truth. Something uh, you and uh, Ms. Clinton are unable to do. Oh, there's some other words that you'd be calling lady like. Oh, how did you use that language? I'll tell you why. They're so cool and everything. They go around name dropping all these uh, words. I wish I had put them down because there's some more. They're all put in there and psychologically people will grab at them and hang on to it. And there's no words to describe what's happened to me and, and to my children here in this country, the people. Uh, first of all, they uh, don't care that I was kidnapped and tortured, done. They help. And I hope one day it's laid out in front of the world so you have to hear it and feel it. I wish you could, because I've done nothing but beg and plead. I'm 78 years old now, and I'm still watching the lies nobody talks about. And they're drawing uh, paychecks. What qualifies them to be these reporters on national news and et cetera? Uh, what kind of salaries do they draw? And then have the president get up there when they bounce around with the balls and uh, that he's had one last night, evidently, and all these stars are hauled in there. Uh, there's no words to describe the deceit that's going on. They're phonies. Uh, but I got some better language. You might call it gutter language. It's the only thing that fits here. You know, I finally thought, hey, I've told nothing but the truth all my life in this horrible mess that's being done to me, crimes, and to my children in my country. Uh, and I'm going to, what, stand back and, yeah, gutter language, that's what, if the shoe fits, wear it, people. And that's exactly what they're doing to Donald Trump. It makes me so sick I can't stand it. Vile, that's what they are.